Hello, I would like to show today uh, how to prepare your uh, library. So now I would like to open and to show the library. Uh, so here I have a sample library and now uh, we will try to uh, use that library with our smart browser. Okay, so um, under the separate tools for Revit, create and modify tab, you can find a smart browser. And before working with a smart family browser, you have to make some preparation. So now we are going to the browser options. And here you have to say where your library is located. Okay, so now I will select the sample library. And now, uh, after pressing Start button, uh, the tool will open every family and will read all information about every family. So it will look at the parameter names and parameter values, at the categories, and so on. So all that information will be stored in that XML file. So here you have to say where that XML file will be located. In my case, uh, I will uh, say that XML file should be located in the same place where my library is. And here you have to say uh, where additional PNG files and DWF files will be located. I will uh, uh, create uh, a se separate uh, folder. for PNG and DWF files. Okay, and that uh, folder I will select here. Uh, that's it. Uh, now we can press start. Uh, here we need to add the company name because that information will be added to XML file and also the person name who is trying to create that uh, library, who is trying to prepare that library. And uh, if it's needed, you can add some short description or some notes about your library. And uh, after pressing OK, now the tool will open every family and the uh, tool will read all information about every family, about parameter names, and parameter values uh, about the categories and uh, at the same time the tool will uh, create additional PNG and DWF files. Uh, if you will not select uh, creating 3D WF files so then it will work uh, much more faster so the process will be much more faster but still uh, here you have to wait a little bit because uh, this is usual process and we have to read all, all information about every family. So uh, you can uh, do this process and we recommend to do this process in the end of your workday or uh, during the weekend. That's it. Uh, our library is prepared and um, now we can um, uh, go and look how uh, what um, what settings now we have in our library. So like here you see in that uh, additional catalog uh, we have PNG and DWF files created uh, for every family. And uh, here we have additional file, with XML file with all data and with all content about every family. And now we can use that library with our Smart Family Browser. So now if I will open the Smart Family Browser, here I will see all that families that comes from that My Sample library. And uh, even if I have in my Sample library uh, type catalogs. Also, I will have it here. Now again, if I will go uh, back to my browser options, 
So uh, with uh, with the under your options, you can have uh, several XML files. So, for example, one XML file goes for uh, my second library. And then also one XML file can have several uh, directions to your different locations.